TikTok trends are emerging every month, and each time they seem to get worse and worse. Covington police believe this was a suspected TikTok challenge, which the social media app called an insult to teachers. In a trend directed at teachers, one student committed a horrific act that could land her years in prison. She faces up to 10 years behind bars. In another trend involving schools, many students have upset school staff so much, there's now security in the hallways. Outside of school, there's a trend that is making people feel unsafe in their own home, sending one mother into a state of anxiety. Last night at around 10.50 p.m., someone tried to kick my front door down. Another trend involves putting the safety of others at risk by adjusting important parts on their car. My family could have been killed because of a stupid TikTok challenge. Doctors have advised against trying a TikTok trend, which caused one TikToker to have a heart attack. This trend involves an ordinary kind of food that when consumed incorrectly could be life-threatening. Parents are upset. Well, I agree with what most of you say, the problem is not TikTok. The problem is the lack of parenting. The victims who unwillingly become a part of these TikTok trends are fearing for their safety. What's happening on TikTok? Why are teens committing crimes to gain clout on social media? Let's find out. TikTok continues to be an emerging social media platform. It's created some of today's biggest stars, like Charlie D'Amelio and Addison Rae. TikTok can be a great place to learn tips and tricks, discover new hobbies, or be entertained by the latest dance trends or funny skits. However, today's young people also look to TikTok for trending challenges. While some online challenges are good, like the Ice Bucket Challenge from 2014, which spread awareness and raised money for ALS, not all trends have positive outcomes. Some TikTok trends are leading young people to make poor choices, and some trends even encourage them to commit crimes. In this video, we'll be covering some of the most controversial TikTok trends from the past several months. Before we get into the story, we'd like to thank our sponsor NordVPN. NordVPN is a virtual private network, a service that protects your internet connection and privacy online. With NordVPN, your information will travel through an encrypted tunnel to ensure your data remains secure, with access to over 5,200 plus servers in 60 countries. It hides your IP address to protect your online identity, and allows you to use public Wi-Fi hotspots safely without fear of someone stealing your personal information. Use the Mahler Cafe Wi-Fi in peace while you finish your holiday shopping. But the best part of NordVPN is being able to watch movies and television shows from all around the world, while on the go or from the comfort of your own home. If a streaming platform isn't available in your country, you can simply change your virtual location. This works perfectly for international shows and to watch anything from anime to Hallmark movies. We recently watched Dancing Through the Snow using NordVPN, which can't be accessed in Canada. And that's not all. NordVPN will protect you from unwanted snoopers and give you a fast connection while streaming, so you don't have to wait ages for your video to buffer. NordVPN is easy to use and can be set up with just one click. One account lets you connect up to six devices. It works on every major OS like Windows, Android, iOS, Mac OS, Linux, and your Android TV. We have a special holiday season deal. Go to nordvpn.com spill to get a two-year plan plus one additional month with a huge discount. Now back to the story. In September 2021, a new challenge surfaced on TikTok that had educators everywhere concerned. The new challenge was called Slap a Teacher. The challenge gained notoriety in early October when a student in Louisiana went viral for a a teacher with a disability after the dismissal bell rang. In a blurry Snapchat video, 18-year-old student Larianna Jackson can be seen allegedly slapping her teacher. According to WDSU6, the situation was believed to have happened because of the TikTok trend. The teacher, a 64-year-old woman with a disability, had to seek medical attention at a local hospital. Larianna was arrested and faced felony charges of suspicion of battery of a school teacher. She was taken to St. Tammany Jail to await trial and faces up to 10 years in prison. On December 8th, Larianna pleaded insanity in a St. Tammany Parish Court. A pre-trial hearing is scheduled for March 14th, 2022. She continues to wait in St. Tammany Parish Jail. Two others were also arrested and face a charge of unlawful posting of a criminal activity. In Boston, another took place at East Middle School. A student is facing significant punishment after the school district claims the child was influenced by the alleged TikTok challenge. 
The school sent out a letter to parents explaining that anyone caught participating in the challenge would receive serious repercussions, including expulsion and criminal charges. A Lancaster County school in South Carolina also had an incident where an elementary school student struck a teacher in the back of the head. They put out a Facebook post warning parents and students of the consequences, along with mentioning the attack was allegedly part of a TikTok trend. People were horrified by the students' actions. TikTok gives them the idea and poor raising lets them think it is a good idea. Do not let them back in the regular school system. Charge them and send them to training school. The rest will get the picture before it gets out of hand. This is why children should not have cell phones. Irresponsible parenting giving them such platform access to elementary student and not teaching them basic manners. Feel sorry for teachers and staff who has to go through this. Well, I agree with what most of you say. The problem is not TikTok. The problem is the lack of parenting. If my kid saw one of these stupid TikTok challenges, he has been raised and has the common sense to know that he is not supposed to go do any of that because that is not the way we raised him. Parents should be held accountable. On October 5th, the third is reportedly happened in Springfield, Missouri. The school did confirm police were involved in the situation. The school said an incident like this could cause students to be severely disciplined and possibly passed on to juvenile authorities, which could stay on their record. Stephen Hall, a member of the school district, said, Anytime we have a situation like this, when a nationwide or social media trend makes way here to Springfield, sometimes our parents might not be aware. So that is one of the things we want to start with, making sure they have an understanding of what is occurring and that they take the opportunity to meet with their kids and understand the real-world consequences that can come from engaging in something like this. On October 6th, TikTok released a statement about the challenge. The rumored slap a teacher dare is an insult to educators everywhere, and while this is not a trend on TikTok, if at any point it shows up, content will be removed. TikTok also linked a PDF from the National Parent Teacher Association about learning responsible behavior. The document goes through TikTok terms and teaches readers how to do things like make their account private and restrict commenting. It also teaches parents how to limit what their children are seeing online and how to report malicious accounts. TikTok's Twitter also replied to their own tweet with a link to the myth-busting website Snopes. According to Snopes, there's no evidence to suggest the a teacher trend was a true viral trend, and the alleged incidents, like the one involving Lariana, were still being investigated. Vice also published an article suggesting the challenge wasn't real. Abby Richards, a disinformation researcher who focuses on TikTok, tweeted out, As far as I'm aware, not a single story has actually includes evidence of an initial threat. And when I looked into this, I couldn't find a single TikTok actually endorsing this behavior. Again, I have seen zero viral videos endorsing this challenge. She added the closest thing she could find to the trend was a list from Distractify stating that it was October's trend, which seems to be the origin of the challenge. The closest thing to evidence I've seen is this list and there's no information regarding its origin or where it was circulating in the first place. Just because someone wrote it down somewhere does not mean it's actually a TikTok trend. Vice also called out Lancaster County schools, questioning their statement of an elementary school injuring a teacher. However, there are several issues with this claim. The first is that elementary Elementary school students are typically too young to have a TikTok account, which requires users to be at least 13. Secondly, there was no mention that the in question was recorded and put on TikTok. And, as Richards points out, filming is a prerequisite for a TikTok challenge. Abby said the most dangerous thing to come from the a teacher rumors is the panic that comes from it. However, she said that she doesn't believe the trend is a threat, but rather an unconfirmed list that gained traction from adults online. An unconfirmed list of trends is, first of all, not a wide-scale threat and shouldn't be treated as such. And second of all, not how TikTok trends actually work. No single person has the power to determine a trend, let alone all the trends for a year. The trend was officially banned on TikTok on October 6th. Another related TikTok trend that took off in September 2021 was the devious licks trend. The trend started on September 1st, when TikToker posted a video of themselves stealing a box of disposable masks from their school. The now-removed video gained over 239,000 views in a week. On September 6th, another student's video went viral, with over 7.2 million views in two days. The trend began on September 6th when a TikToker posted a video pulling a hand sanitizer dispenser from a backpack alongside the text only a month into school and got this absolute devious lick, as if celebrating school's return with the steal. On September 7th, TikToker duetted the original video with his own now-removed video, where he stole a school's microscope. A number of other students followed suit, taking anything they could, erasers and spray bottles. wet floor signs, tires, 
posters, bathroom stall doors. Some even planned to steal the school's fish. News stations began to report on the stolen items after schools reported them missing. On September 16th, the trend was banned on TikTok and the app began removing videos under the hashtags. In response to students stealing, schools took a number of precautions. Some schools have implemented clear backpacks so teachers and administrators could see if students are stealing school property. Some have implemented security guards by the bathrooms. Some schools have even locked bathrooms for portions of the day to minimize the vandalism done by students. But is this the right solution? Clinical psychologist and family therapist John Duffy believes this is not the way to solve the issue. Some of my socially anxious clients choose to suffer significant discomfort, then disrupt a teacher in class to use the bathroom for fear of the social attention. If the bathroom is locked, many kids will become anxious at the facilities unavailable to them. While many students found the devious licks to be funny, teachers were not impressed. Y'all gotta stop with this lick trend. I am sending... Get up. Out. This was out. during lunch. I am suspending kids who mess up my bathrooms. I highly suggest you don't make it to that list. My expectations for you are high. You have the ability to do great things. Make the good choices. That's all I want to say. Thank you guys. Back to lunch. Schools are doing their best to stop the theft and vandalism. Many have sent home letters to parents and encouraged parents to talk to their children about the challenge. At one point, the trend got so out of hand, Connecticut Senator Richard Blumenthal got involved. He wrote a letter to TikTok chief executive Shauza Chu. You have a responsibility to delete videos, ban users, and restrict hashtags that glorify property damage and threats to school safety to prevent this destructive behavior from spreading. While TikTok has taken steps to remove these videos, these actions were too little too late and do not make up for the damage to schools across the country. Blumenthal also asked TikTok to make a representative available for an upcoming Senate Commerce Subcommittee hearing on the impact of social media on children and teens. While students may find these pranks fun, they can have very serious consequences. USA Today reported a number of students have been arrested on misdemeanor vandalism charges. Nine students from Central Florida and eight students from Kentucky face criminal charges. When users search for devious licks on TikTok, users are now met with a link on how to recognize harmful trends. Some worry the vandalism in these trends will lead to crime outside of school. However, thankfully, sometimes in the darkness comes light. Some TikTok users have combated the devious licks by replacing the trend with angelic yields, which involves giving the school items instead of taking them. The original angelic yield featured a student putting toilet paper in the bathroom stall instead of removing it. One TikTok user showed themselves placing a new TV in their school's bathroom after claiming they had taken the previous one. Another user placed a $50 bill in the bathroom for another student to find. One person placed a brand new coffee maker in the bathroom. One TikToker showed how we turned the men's bathroom bathroom at his school into a gentleman's club. The same TikToker did it again, despite being asked not to decorate the bathroom. Other TikTokers took it as a challenge to see who could make the most elite bathroom. While it is unclear if the people in the videos are students and if the bathrooms are school bathrooms, the angelic yields still set a good example for others. For a while, the devious licks died down online. However, they made a quick return in North Dakota in November. It even hit college campuses. 
According to Valley News Live, North Dakota State University, NDSU, is asking for help with their devious licks problem. A letter was sent to students explaining the challenges have caused damage to the schools, and what they were doing was illegal. One student showed themselves stealing a parking sign and stashing it in the NDSU dorms. The school is hashtagged and the account seems to be affiliated with the school, but it's unclear if the person in this video is a student or not. Some students have made an effort to end the trend themselves by making fun of the trend. One user showed how their life was affected by the challenge. Me walking to the bathroom trying to look at myself in the mirror. Me forgetting about the devious licks challenge. Another user pretended the most devious lick was stealing water from the school tap. Just hit the most devious lick. Despite various efforts to squash the trend, on December 7th, it was reported the trend resurfaced in Surrey, BC, Canada. The Surrey RCMP reported they've received numerous calls about vandalism in public park bathrooms. In a news release, Surrey RCMP Media Relations Officer Constable Sarbeet K. Sangha said they believe the vandalism could be linked to the devious licks trend. These acts of vandalism are unacceptable and have caused significant damage to our much-needed public washroom facilities. We encourage parents to speak to their children about the fact that committing an illegal act, all for the sake of online popularity or likes, can have consequences now and into the future. Destroying property seems to be taking over TikTok. The heartbeat trend is another trend that has communities concerned for their well-being. The trend began in October 2021 and involved playing the 2012 song Da Young by Kesha. TikTokers would play the song in front of a closed door, and when Kesha sang I Hear Your Heart Beat to the Beat of the Drums, the person would bang on the door to the beat of the song and run away. The original video came from a TikTok user who appeared to be in a college dorm. His friend carried a speaker playing the song and he kicked the door to the beat. While the trend may seem like an innocent way to prank friends, someone took it too far. A pastor from Wilkes Bar, Pennsylvania reported his security camera caught kids doing the challenge at his door. He said his door was damaged beyond repair. Residents of Baton Rouge, Louisiana were left angry after a young person was caught on video kicking in a door at the Sherwood Manor subdivision. It's unclear if the young person was participating in the trend. Yvonne Dunn said her husband was home recovering from open heart surgery when a young woman came and kicked her door in. Video footage also caught the young girl returning to a car full of people and driving away. An hour later, she was arrested. A statement from the East Baton Rouge Parish Sheriff's Office, EBRSO, said, Several complainants, three so far, reported a female kicking in doors of residences in the Fairwood Estates area. Multiple security cameras recorded a teenage female in the passenger running up to doors to kick them in and leave the area in the vehicle. The suspect admitted to kicking the doors. More files and charges are suspected as more people get home from work. The young woman was charged with three counts of simple criminal damage to property. The trend has affected the UK as well. TikToks have shown teenagers kicking open doors and breaking locks, leaving many homes damaged or vulnerable to intruders. Sergeant Non Edwards said some of the houses belong to elderly folks, and the challenges were leaving people fearing for their safety. We have had an increase of calls reporting this stupid act, which is causing people to be fearful in their homes. I would ask all parents, do you know where your children are and what they are doing? How would you feel if they did this to your parent or grandparent? Some of the comments on TikTok defended the homeowners. Nobody thinks about the fact there could be old people or mentally ill people living in that house. This isn't okay. Others wanted to copy the trend. We should do this. Police forces around the UK are looking to prosecute those involved in the crimes. PCSO Sarah Rex from Herefordshire Police said, It's not just a bit of fun. It is frightening, antisocial, and, in some cases, illegal. We will be investigating each report and looking to identify those involved before taking appropriate action. One woman said she became extremely anxious after being the target of the prank. She said she had to take time off work because of the anxiety, and she had kept her children home from school because they had been woken in the night. London police have even warned warned residents of the challenge. They advise students to enjoy their time off school, but to not break any laws while doing so. What's more scary than your door falling over? Your car suddenly becoming unsafe to drive because TikTokers allegedly tinkered with your car without consent. The next trend leaving people in fear is the lug nuts challenge. The lug nuts trend challenges TikTokers to loosen the lug nuts on people's cars. Kevin Cook, the general manager at Straub Automotive Group in West Virginia, claimed his dealership fell victim to the challenge. He said an attendant found lug nuts loose on four Mustangs. He assured potential clients that lug nut checks would be performed before 
any test drives or purchases to ensure the safety of the car's riders. Kevin also claimed he called other dealerships in the area to alert them to the issue. Similar instances are alleged to have occurred in Cedar City, Utah. A couple claimed they heard a pop while driving in their car, and another driver had told them their tire looked loose. After examining the car, they said all but one lug nut had been removed or sheared off. The couple urged locals to check their tires before driving. Joe Casaligi, a retired fire marshal living on Staten Island, blamed the challenge for his tire coming off while driving. My family could have been because of a stupid TikTok challenge. His wife, Michelle, claimed she was getting onto a service road when it felt like a tire had blown off her car. She said she pulled over and discovered four lug nuts were missing and a fifth had been cut off. Joe explained this is impossible without tampering. Lug nuts do not shake themselves loose and fall off at the same time without warning. It appeared that someone removed four of the five lug nuts and the last one held on for a while and finally broke off. Staten Island District Attorney Michael E. McMahon tweeted about the situation. Thankful the Casaligi family was not hurt in this incident and that we have not received widespread reports of the lug nut challenge across the island. For those who aren't familiar with cars, it is extremely unsafe to drive with missing lug nuts. According to autoblog.com, lug nuts are designed to hold a certain amount of pressure. When one lug nut is gone, the other lug nuts must work harder to hold the pressure, which causes them to wear down more easily. Missing lug nuts can cause cars to wobble. Pressure also gets placed on the car when it turns corners, brakes, or accelerates at high speeds. All of these things can cause lug nuts to come off or the studs to snap off. This can lead to a wheel coming off, which is extremely dangerous to you and other drivers. AdjustMyCar.com says some vehicles come with sensors or loose lug nut indicators. However, not all vehicles are advanced enough and require drivers to check the lug nuts regularly. If someone finds a lug nut missing or loose on their car, they're recommended to go to a mechanic and have it tightened or fixed. Even one missing lug nut is potentially dangerous. Despite the claims of lug nut tampering, there are some who don't believe the challenge is real. Jalopnik.com, a news and opinion site about cars, did a deep dive into the trend, but was unable to find any videos of people loosening the lug nuts, just warnings about the alleged trend. For a TikTok trend, this is definitely strange, considering the site's users love to film themselves completing challenges. While it is possible that TikTok has removed the videos because of the dangerous nature of them, it is strange that none can be found, even on other social media sites. Another automotive website, thedrive.com, noted the only sources of the incidents are from local police, and there is no video footage of the crimes taking place. These incidents leave people skeptical about the events, leading some to believe the lug nut challenge is just a scare tactic to convince people to check their cars. A lot of these challenges involve disturbing the well-being of others, but there's one challenge that puts the person carrying out the challenge at risk. The dry scooping challenge may be the most dangerous prank in today's video. This challenge consists of people swallowing dry pre-workout powder instead of mixing it with liquid. According to Healthline, pre-workout powder has high concentrations of caffeine and is used to boost energy and improve athletic performance. The powder is designed to be mixed with water, but in some cases, people have it mixed with alcohol or more caffeine. Nelson Chow, Princeton University student and intern at Cohen Children's Medical Center, told Insider, I think most people view dry scooping as a silly, harmless trend, when in reality, it is a dangerous practice. It is difficult to trace the trend back to a single individual or platform. However, what I can say is that dry scooping content is pervasive on social media platforms like TikTok. He examined 100 TikToks about pre-workout and only found 8% to be using the powder properly. Nelson explained even one scoop of powdered protein can have as much caffeine as dozens of cups of coffee. Taking pre-workout as a powder and not diluting it causes the body to absorb the caffeine more quickly and increases the concentration of the pre-workout's ingredients in the body. You're also at risk of inhaling the powder. Nutritionist Ayat Slayman spoke to Pop Sugar and said, a sudden dose of excessive caffeine can trigger fast and irregular heartbeat. There have been reported cases of stroke, heart attacks, hepatitis, and death from not following diluting instructions. The trend has been around for a while, and some have experienced severe health problems because of it. However, like the Devious Licks challenge, when you try to search it, TikTok redirects to a screen about recognizing harmful challenges. One woman said she suffered a heart attack because of the pre-workout trend. 20-year-old Briatney Portillo uploaded a TikTok with the clown filter on and said she had tried dry scooping because she'd seen it on TikTok and had ended up in the 
hospital because she'd had a heart attack. BuzzFeed spoke to Briatney about what had happened. Briatney claimed she took the dry scoop pre-workout and felt tingly, but after Googling it, she read it was a normal side effect. Not long after, she said she began to feel pain in her chest, but she had chalked it up to anxiety and pushed through it. After her workout, she went to work, where the symptoms worsened. In the locker room of my job, I started getting hot, even though it was cold in there. I started sweating a lot and was drenched, even though I was wearing a bikini. Then, my chest pain came back, and this time, it was more intense. The pain went to my back and to my left arm, and my left arm went slightly limp, so I knew those were symptoms of a heart attack. I called 911, and the ambulance came. After tests, Briatney found out she had had an NSTEMI, which is a heart attack that does less damage to the heart. Doctors advised her to stay away from caffeine, and that after three or four days, she could return to working out as long as she monitored her heart rate. Aside from a heart attack, it can cause a number of health concerns. Sarah Burnett, a registered dietitian who works in public health, said consuming large quantities of pre-workout powder can affect people's blood pressure. It is fairly common with too much caffeine at once, especially on an empty stomach, that it can result in heart palpitations and anxiety, which is both very uncomfortable and may feel like a heart attack. Doctors recommend that when taking pre-workout, people should stay hydrated and listen to their bodies. As we've seen, TikTok trends can be dangerous to others and ourselves. It's important that when you participate in a TikTok challenge, you consider the consequences our actions could have. We hope the upcoming trends will be more positive, but will the nonsense ever truly end? How did you feel about these stories? Let me know in the comments below.